yes. uh, here we are discussing about Navodaya Vidyalaya uh, nursing exam practice questions and answers uh, we will discuss around uh, 15 questions and uh, it is nursing questions only and if you want more uh, general awareness aptitude reasoning questions means uh, please comment in uh, below comment section and we will start here before that if you are not subscribed to our channel please subscribe and you can also watch our previous Navodaya Vidyalaya practice questions also and the previous exam questions also I have put in uh, here so please uh, uh, search in our comment section uh, sorry search box uh, Navodaya Vidyalaya model test the nurse so you will get to the more uh, nursing model questions uh, we will go to our topic NBS nursing exam questions and answers first question first question diffusion occurs with the help of diffusion occurs with the help of carrier molecules without the expenditure of energy ease simple diffusion facilitated diffusion endocytosis active transport diffusion occurs with the help of carrier molecules here important term is with the help of carrier molecules correct answer here facilitated diffusions why it is facilitated diffusion calling means it uh, the diffusion occurs with the help of carrier molecules if it is occurring uh, normally means it is known as simple diffusion uh, if it is occur with the help of carrier molecules it is known as facilitated diffusions next question the net filtration pressure across the glomerular membrane is the net filtration pressure across the glomerular membrane is 10 millimeter mercury 50 millimeter mercury 25 millimeter mercury 35 millimeter of mercury second question so i know the questions are a little tougher uh, but still try to answer correct answer is option a that is 10 millimeter of mercury poonam yadav commented correct answer uh, net filtration pressure means uh, that is uh, glomerular high blood hydro hydrostatic pressure uh, subtracted by capsular hydrostatic pressure plus blood colloid osmotic pressure so i will show you the uh, equation here net filtration pressure means glomerular blood hydrostatic pressure minus capsular hydrostatic pressure plus blood colloid osmotic pressure so net the normal rate, uh, pressure rate will be the glomerular blood hydrostatic pressure that is normal normally 55 uh, minus uh, hydros, uh, capsular hydrostatic pressure that will be 15 and the blood colloid osmotic, os osmotic pressure that will be 30 so the uh, equation 50 minus 15 plus 30 so 55 minus 45 10 millimeter of mercury net filtration pressure that is 10 millimeter of mercury third question uh, this is easy question fat splitting enzymes produced by glands of tongue is fat splitting enzymes produced by glands of tongue is tyalin salivary amylase lingual lipase lysozyme fat splitting enzymes fat splitting enzymes are produced by tongue stomach and pancreas here uh, specifically which one is produced by tongue is asked here correct answer here that is lingual lipase fat splitting enzyme produced by tongue that is lingual uh, related to tongue lipase lipase commonly known as fat splitting enzymes if it is produced by tongue it is known as lingual lingual lipase if it is produced by uh, stomach then it is known as gastric lipase if it is produced by pancreas then it is known as 
pancreatic lipase. This uh, lipase enzymes uh, helps to break down the fat. The lipase enzymes uh, in the body, it helps to break down the fats in food so they can be absorbed in the intestines. The major uh, fat breakdown is happening in uh, stomach but it is starting from our stomach with the uh, lingual lipase enzymes. So I think it is uh, clear. Uh, li lipase are three types. Uh, lingual lipase, gastric lingual lipase is produced by uh, uh, tongue. Gastric lipase is produced by uh, stomach. Pancreatic lipase is produced by pancreas. Fourth question. Hamburger shift is seen in. Hamburger shift is seen in. Oxygen transport, carbon dioxide transport, carbohydrate metabolism, protein metabolism. Hamburger shift is seen in. The other name of hamburger shift is chloride shift. The other name of hamburger shift that is chloride shift. It is usually seen in carbon dioxide transport. Hamburger shift or chloride shift is seen in carbon dioxide transport. It describes the movement of chloride into RBCs which occurs when uh, the buffer effects of deoxygenated hemoglobin increase the intracellular bicarbonate concentration from the and the bicarbonate is exported from the RBC in exchange for chloride. That means uh, after deoxygenation, the uh, our blood tries to buffer. So our uh, inside the RBC, the uh, uh, bicarbonate will move outside and chloride will come into uh, inside the RBC. So that is simply uh, we can tell Hamburg uh, uh, shift or chloride shift. That is chloride chloride uh, molecule uh, ion is coming inside the RBC and the bicarbonate is going out as an exchange. So that is seen in carbon dioxide transport. Next question. It is easy easy question. Gluconeogenesis is inhibited by gluconeogenesis is inhibited by glucagon growth hormone insulin glucocorticoids if you know about the uh, uh, process of gluconeogenesis gluconeogenesis means you can answer here easily correct answer is insulin gluconeogenesis is inhibited by insulin gluconeogenesis means production of uh, glucose so it is inhibited by insulin sixth question an example of tumor associated antigen is an example of tumor associated antigen is testic testis specific antigen or MAGE, alpha fetoprotein or AFP, carcino embryonic antigen or CEA, prostate specific antigen or PSA. Correct answer here that is prostate specific antigen or PSA. Tumor associated antigen are related, relatively Restricted to uh, specific to that particular tumor or carcinoma. Here, prostate specific antigen or PSA is specifically for identifying prostate cancer. And other options are testic, testis specific antigen that is also elevated in the case of melanoma, breast cancer, bladder cancer, prostate cancer, and hepatocellular carcinoma. Same time, uh, this alpha fetoprotein also it is uh, seen in uh, elevated in the liver cancer uh, can, uh, CA ovaries or 
testis, uh, testicular cancers, this alpha beta protein. Same time, the CEA or uh, carcino embryonic antigen, it is elevated in uh, cancers of colon or rectum, prostate, lung, uh, thyroid or liver cancers. But in the case of prostate specific antigen, that is an example of tumor specific, uh, tumor associated antigen that is specifically the elevated level indicates that uh, prostate cancer. So I think it is clear tumor, uh, aso tumor associated tumor associated antigen are relatively restricted to tumor cells. Tumor specific antigens are unique to tumor cells. So prostate specific antigen is unique uh, for prostate cancer. Seventh question, which among the following test is expected by a nurse for a patient receiving parenteral heparin? Which among the following test is expected by a nurse for a patient receiving parenteral heparin? Activated partial thromboplastin time or APTT, bleeding time or BT, total platelet count or prothrombin time or PT. The patient is receiving parenteral heparin therapy. So, which uh, blood investigation will help to monitor the uh, uh, result of the heparin therapy or progress of the heparin therapy? Correct answer is activated partial thromboplastin time or APTT. The APTT normal level, it is around 27 to 30 seconds. In, by uh, while giving parenteral heparin, the uh, therapeutic range that is 2 to 2.5 uh, times of normal levels that is around 60 to 80 seconds. Normally, APTT level is 27 to 30. Uh, by while giving the heparin therapy, we need to make the APTT or uh, clotting time is little higher. So that is 2 to 2.5 times. Uh, higher than the normal level. So that will range us from 60 to 80 seconds. And in the same time, while giving a warfarin, warfarin therapy, we need to monitor particularly INR, International uh, Normalized Ratio, uh, that is uh, ranges from 2 to 3. The target range is INR level is 2 to 3 while giving warfarin therapy. Eighth question, venous emboli are most often lodged in. Venous emboli are most often lodged in intestine, kidneys, heart, lungs. Important thing, most oftenly lodged in. That term you keep in mind. So here correct answer is option D that is lungs. Venous emboli usually lodges in lungs. That is pulmon uh, then it will become pulmonary emboli. The emboli formed uh, somewhere else and it is it will lodges into lungs then it is known as pulmonary emboli. Sometimes it moves uh, from the lungs and it will it may lodge to uh, heart or brain. But usually, uh, usually it lodges in lungs. Correct answer. Uh, next question. Negative staining with dyes such as Indian ink is used to demonstrate. Negative staining with dyes such as Indian ink is used to demonstrate. Bacterial nucleus, bacterial capsule, bacterial cell wall, bacterial cytoplasm. Negative staining with dyes such as Indian ink. Here, correct answer is bacterial capsule. The negative staining is used to uh, identify the bacterial capsule. The neg uh, negative staining or India ink is the classic example of a negative stain. 
it will turn the background a dark brown to black leaving the clear bright cells unstained and highly visible while using india ink it will produce a dark background and the cells or uh, bacterial capsule will be visible clearly 10th question presence of which immunoglobulin in serum of newborn indicates congenital infections presence of which immunoglobulins in serum of newborn indicates congenital infections igg iga igm ige correct answer is option c that is igm presence of igm indicates congenital infections 11th question chinese letter or cuneiform arrangement of bacilli is the characteristic feature of chinese letter or cuneiform arrangement of bacilli is the characteristics of characteristic feature of mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium leprae Coni bacterium diphtheria, Clostridium tetani. It is easy question from microbiology. Cuneiform arrangement of bacilli. Correct answer here. Coni bacterium diphtheria. Cuneiform arrangement of bacilli or Chinese letter arrangement that is seen in Coni bacterium diphtheria. So I will show you the uh, arrangement. Here there are different uh, arrangements of uh, bacilli or cocci. This is the cuneiform pattern of arrangement. Cuneiform pattern or Chinese letter arrangement. So that is seen in Coni bacterium diphtheria. To identify the Coni bacterium diphtheria, uh, we can uh, see the arrangements that will be cuneiform patterns. And here are the, some other arrangements also. Uh, it is cocci. Cocci means uh, that is a spherical shaped um, uh, bacteria. This is an uh, example of cluster arrangement. This is example of a uh, chain like arrangement. Then this is a uh, a tetrad arrangement, octate arrangement, pair arrangement. In the so in the case of basil, uh, basile, basile uh, means that is road shaped organism. This is a chain basile. Uh, this is what we uh, told in question. That is cuneiform pattern or Chinese letter arrangement. And uh, here the basile, uh, comma shaped basile. This is spirally coiled uh, bacteria that is known as spirochetes or it may be some uh, different kind spirochetes that is spiral shaped. Clusters, chains, tetrad, pair, uh, chains, cuneiform arrangement, comma shaped, comma shaped that is vibrio color we can tell comma shaped bacilli. Next question. Negri bodies are present in infection with. Negri bodies are present in infection with. Rabies virus, polio virus, Epstein Barr virus, pox virus. Negri bodies. Negri bodies are characteristic features in one of the infection. Correct answer here. Rabies virus. Negri bodies are seen in, uh, in the case of rabies virus infections. Uh, it will seen in the neurons. The negri bodies or dark colored spherical bodies are seen in the neurons. That is uh, usually caused with rabies encephalitis. Rabies virus infection includes the formation of cytoplasmic inclusion of bo inclusion bodies that res resembles negri, negri bodies found in the cytoplasm of some infected nerves. That will lead to the uh, rabies encephalitis. So don't forget this one. Negri bodies are present in the infection of rabies infection. It will be seen in the nerve cells. 13th question. The most common cause of traveler's diarrhea is. 
द मोस्ट कामन कॉज ऑफ ट्रवल डयरिया सालमोनल विब्रियो कोलर द मोस्ट कामन कॉज ऑफ ट्रवल डयरिया Correct answer here. That is E. coli. The most common cause of traveler di traveler's diarrhea. That is E. coli. Next question, fourteenth question. An example of high biological value protein food is. An example of high biological value protein food is. Soya bean, egg, green gram, ground nut. High biological value protein means. it will give most of the around 80 to 90 percentage of essential amino acids that is why it is known as high biological value protein correct answer here that is egg most of the animal foods are high biological value proteins and uh, here the ex uh, the example that is egg so i think it is clear most of the animal originated uh, proteins are uh, it will give a high biological value protein and here the uh, egg also included in that case 15th question dash diet is used in the prevention of man prevent prevention and management of dash diet is used in the prevention and management of hypertension diabetes mellitus liver cirrhosis peptic ulcer dash diet means it is rich in vegetables fruits and whole grains it includes fat free or low fat dairy products fish poultry beans and nuts it limits food that are high in saturated fat such as fatty meats and full fat dairy products so i think you can uh, answer here dash diet that is rich in vegetables and fruits and whole grains it includes fat free or low fat dairy products fish poultry beans and nuts it limits food that are high in saturated fat such as fatty meats and full fat dairy products so here the dash diet is uh, given for prevention and management of hypertension to reduce the cholesterol level 16th question an example of essential fatty acid an example of essential fatty acid is linoleic acid aspartic acid leucine lysine question is asking essential fatty acid not amino acid so don't confuse essential amino acid and essential fatty acids in this question asking essential fatty acid so correct answer is option a that is linoleic acid so uh, karim khan neha loyal uh, shiva shankari poonam etc are given correct answer that is option a linoleic acid there are only two essential fatty acids are there that is alpha linoleic acid or omega 3 fatty acids there are two essential fatty acids uh, are there that is alpha linoleic acid or omega 3 fatty acids omega 3 fatty acids you are you might be heard in uh, our ad uh, advertisement and all and the second one is linoleic acid second one is linoleic acid that is omega 6 fatty acids omega 3 fatty acid and omega 6 fatty acids 17th question vitamin deficiency seen in pure vegetarian as this vitamin is present only in foods of animal origin vitamin deficiency seen in pure vegetarian as this vitamin is present only in foods of animal origin vitamin b1 folic acid vitamin b6 vitamin b12 17th question correct answer uh, that is vitamin b12 
vitamin B12 deficiency usually seen in pure vegetarians. Next question. This is easy question. Don't uh, uh, make uh, incorrect uh, choice. Complete oxidation of one molecule of glucose yields. Complete oxidation of one molecule of glucose yields. 12 ATPs, 24 ATPs, 32 ATPs, 129 ATPs. Eighteenth question. Please make uh, answer. Complete oxidation of one molecule of glucose yields. Correct answer is option C that is 32 ATPs. Complete oxidation or after glycolysis we will get 32 ATPs. The 19th question. The key enzyme in fatty acid synthesis is. The key enzymes in fatty acid synthesis is. Another question from biochemistry. Beta hydroxy hydroxyacyl dehydrate acetyl coenzymes carboxylase enoyl reductase acetyl transacylase. Correct answer is option B. Acetyl coenzyme carboxylase uh, Poonam, Poonam uh, here also given correct answer. Uh, and uh, Sri Madhavi also, Sri Madhavi, Namrada, Reena uh, all are given correct answer. 20th question. Ammonia is formed with the help of, help of or the following except a little confusing question. The ammonia is formed with the help of or the following except transaminase, glutamate dehydrogenase, amino acid oxidase, threonine dehydrotase. Ammonia is formed with the help of or the following except. Twentieth question. Correct answer here, transaminase. Amino acid, ammonia is formed with the help of all the following except transaminase. 21st question. Which among the following indicates an abnormal renal function test? You can uh, answer here easily. Which, of, which among the following indicates an abnormal renal function test? Blood urea 30 mg deciliter. Glomerular filtration rate 125 ml per minute. Serum creatinine 8 mg per deciliter. Urine pH 6.8. If you know uh, renal function test values, norm, normal values means you can answer here easily. Correct answer here that is option C creatinine 8 milligram per deciliter. So can you comment uh, what is the normal value of serum creatinine? Normal value of serum creatinine level? Anybody can comment? Blood urea nitrogen that is 15 to 30 liter is normal range. Glomerular filter, filtration rate 100 to 130 milliliter per minute that is considered normally. And urine pH 6.8 also, it is considered normal. Yes. Shika, uh, Nijil, Shivashankari, Jodi, Raju Naik, etc. are commented uh, correct uh, range of normal value of serum creatinine. That is 0 0.6 to 1.2 milligram per deciliter. Normal value of serum creatinine 0.6 to 1.2 milligram per deciliter. More than that considered as an abnormal. Here it is 8 milligram. So it is very high. 22nd question. 
Pharmacodynamics means the mechanism of. Pharmacodynamics means the mechanism of drug action, drug absorption, drug distribution, drug excretion. Pharmacodynamics means the mechanism of Correct answer here. Option A. Shivashangari, Shika, Rajunaik, Gurmeet, etc. are given. Correct answer here. Doing good. 23rd question. The most important vital sign monitoring for a patient receiving opioid analgesic such as morphine is. The most important vital sign monitoring for a patient receiving opioid analgesic such as morphine is. Temperature, pulse, respiration, blood pressure. I know it is an easy question. Uh, it is a correct answer is option C. Why it is important? Why respiration is important while giving opioid analgesics? Please comment. Why respiration is important though, uh, those patients receiving opioid analgesics? Yes, Gurmeet uh, given correct answer. It will cause respiratory depression. Opioid analgesic will cause respiratory depression. So, respiratory rate is very important while receiving opioid analgesic such as morphine. Uh, in uh, fentanyl also, uh, that is a, a synthetic opioid analgesics. When fentanyl also while giving, we should monitor uh, respirat res respiratory rate. 24th question, the drug contraindicated in absent seizure is, the drug contraindicated in absent seizure is, ethosuximide, phenobarbital, valproic acid, carbamazepine. Twenty fourth question The drug contraindicated in absent seizure. Correct answer here that is option D carbamazepine. Carbamazepine is contraindicated in the case of absent seizure because it aggravates many generalized seizures, which uh, particularly absent seizures. That is why it is contraindicated in uh, absent seizure. What is the Cause of aggravation of this uh, seizure aggravation is uh, not completely known. But it is find out that carbamazepine will aggravate the generalized seizures such as absent seizures. So it will not give during the absent seizures. The exact cause still unknown but it is contraindicated. The last question today. The most common adverse effect of pandoprazole is the most common adverse effect of pandoprazole is vomiting, headache, paresthesia, constipation. The most common adverse effect of pandoprazole is the last question today. Don't miss it. The correct answer is option B that is headache. The most common adverse effect of pandoprazole that is headache. So that is about today's video, uh, today's question. Uh, we have discussed 25 questions. If you have any doubts means you can ask in comment section. I will try to uh, solve, solve the doubts. And if you like this video means please share with your friends and we will come with another video tomorrow. Uh, that is uh, tomorrow's video some special video. Actually, that is for military nursing uh, exam questions. So, we will discuss some previous questions, biology questions. Uh, that is tomorrow's video. Uh, please stay tuned. So, please like and share this video with your friends. See you. Bye-bye.